So the first part of my three and three and two is done. That's three big gaming and esports events in three continents in two weeks. And I'm finished with the Zotac Cup Masters, which was absolutely fantastic to host. Thanks, Zotac, for bringing me over to do that. Had a great week of brilliant CSGO and uh, expecting some really good things from some teams in the future. Uh, Order could well turn out to be the number one team out of Australia in uh, the not distant future. And, uh, MVP won it and they will go to the Grand Finals in Hong Kong and uh, a really good team out of Korea so looking forward to seeing more from them. I'm in Taiwan uh, International Airport about to fly over the International Dateline to Los Angeles for E3 but before I do and before I go to the gate I'm supposed to be at this is my new favourite airport. Not that I really have a favourite airport but it would be this one. Look at all the things it's got. But most importantly to us, have you seen it yet? 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 Have you seen this? There is an eSports experience center and we are damn well going to go and find that. Now to be honest, this airport is actually full of really nice things. This is a cultural area about Chinese calligraphy. And if you've got kids, they can do rubbings and learn about it. And it's got interesting artwork and stuff. I find all this sort of thing uh, really interesting, actually, because I've always been interested in Asia. And uh, China in particular was why it's been so much fun to have a chance to come out and actually see Taipei uh, in Taiwan before doing the Zotac Cup Masters at Computex Taipei. It's, it's been such a real pleasure doing this event. And uh, here is the eSports Experience Zone. If you're going to wait for a flight in an airport, it should be here. Check this out. Thermal Take Esports. I've got computers you can actually use. Uh, please do not attempt to access, download, or install any software from Unknown Origins. No downloading or storing files. This. For any inconvenience caused, we're very sorry. Like, you can use their PCs for free. And they're apologising that you can't use them for things you probably shouldn't be doing in an airport. That's it. It's not just a showcase of products. You can play on it and... Hang on. There are three PlayStation driving stations. Full racing setups. If I'm not mistaken, that is an F1 2016. Yeah, look. Yeah, I've got force feedback. Uh, no, Logitech. There's a PS3. Okay, so PS3s with full three pedal driving setups. Uh, no gear stick, but we'll forgive them that. They've got paddles on the wheels. Um, yeah, that's F1 2016. Going around... That's Abu Dhabi, so... Uh, look, there's MotoGP on a, on a PlayStation. And, uh, ooh, hang on, now these are a bit old, then. That is NBA 2K13. Oh, OK. Running on an i3-3220 with a GTX 650 in it. All right. And what that means, though, like I would still happily place. What? Two, yeah, two K thirteen to kill time for a plane. Except I can't because this is the completely wrong part of the airport, and I now need to run to the other end of it to get to my gate. So this was a lovely thing to find. I'll remember this if I ever get to Taipei Airport again. Uh, but we're not going here any longer. It's time to go to E3, biggest gaming event in the world, where the PlayStation Four is announced and the three before that. And whatever's driving some of this stuff was announced years ago um yeah let's go to e3 it's the one major gaming event in the world that i have never done and always wanted to go to and uh, this year i'm gonna go there straight from taiwan over the international date line which means i take off today and land yesterday or something like that i'll explain more of that on the other side but right now i should hurry up and get there because i am very excited about going to e3 really don't want to miss boarding of the flight to do so having come this far around the world already so if you like the video please like the video i will show you interesting gaming and esports and technology experiences like this all over the world as i travel around it presenting uh, amazing events and tv from yeah all over it 
Uh, so subscribe to the video if you'd like to come with me, and I'll see you on the other side of the Pacific for E3.